Hi everybody, this is Salesforce Jen and I like to talk about Experience Cloud and today I want to talk to you about creating a header on an Experience Cloud site and we're going to be talking about the Aura sites. These are the sites where you can pick themes and templates today. If you'd like to work on a Lightning Web Runtime site, I do have a video if you go to that playlist for headers specifically because it is done differently. Also, if you have never created an Experience Cloud site, this video is probably not going to be very helpful with you. You must be familiar with the builder, so you can go to my playlist where you create an Experience Cloud site step-by-step -step and get familiar with the builder. Otherwise, you should be familiar with the builder. And the header is the top of the page here. It can be done many different ways, and it could be done as a hamburger menu or a menu that goes across the page. Every theme you're working with is going to be different and give you different options. Um, so for instance, if I'm looking at my portfolio and I go to my settings on the top left, my theme, I am using a customer account portal with the Jepson theme. Now, if I was just using customer account portal, it may look a different. Um, and when I got onto this page, I clicked up here before I created it and I have what we ha call a compact header, which gives you options over here in your component to the right. We're going to go talk about a different site. Here's another one I have. This one looks different. We can see a template header top. It hasn't been customized. You can, but this one has a search bar, uh, user and notifications. These can be added here, but I removed them, but you can see it actually has a template header section top and then another section. So let me talk about that with the differences in that for a minute. If it says the word template, that means it goes across every page on your website. Um, so for instance, this particular one does not say template when I put it on it. It's just a compact header. So when I go to other pages, I have to configure it for other pages. So my home page is one particular theme. If I go over here to configure, I can see my home page is on three different pages. So if I create it on my home page, it'll be on my home page. And look, we have home, home sample, and portfolio home. It's going to be on all my home pages. But then on other pages, if I want to create something, I'm going to want to use this default view. So what I'm trying to say is that on this home page, if I create this top header, it doesn't carry over to other pages. I have created it where it does right now, but if I went to another page, all of these pages have a different, if I scroll down here, layout on the bottom, and it's using the site default settings. So if I go to my settings right here, it's using the default. So every page that has this, when I create the header, which I made for that, the rest of my pages had that, they persist on the rest of the pages. Okay, so I'll show you another one. Here's another one. Let's see, this one, we said, oh, this is customer service, but no theme. So customer service with no theme has a template header top, which means you can make things carry to other pages, but your second area right here won't. And there's a reason for that. I'll talk about that in a minute. I have another one here, and this one is customer account portal, no theme. So we have a template header on the top. And then the one I'm in today right here, also I put up here, it had a, this is a template header top it has at the top. Okay, let me just delete this for now so you can see it. And we'll take that out. So you can see it's a template header top, and then I have an area for my navigation. So this area for the navigation doesn't persist from page to page, and that's because usually on a home page, like I have this sample logo, you have a logo and you have different things at the top, and maybe your menu, uh, like here we have the menu, sorry, and it may not match on other pages, so you'd have to create the menu. So this is all a top header section for the page that we're sitting on right now. So if I were to go over here, in the template header top, I can add a component. So on the top left with the lightning bolt, you add components. Those are things already created to go in these templates to help you create things. So if I wanted to write a rich or add a rich text content or rich content editor, which is a WYSIWYG editor, I can just drag that into this top part. It's a theme for this region. And then I could edit it just like any other WYSIWYG editor. Okay. But I don't necessarily want that. It looks kind of funny. So 
Instead, because I want to have more control, I like to do that. I can add an HTML editor or excuse me, an HTML component. So I'm going to type HTML and I'm going to grab it and drag it to the top. And then I already know the code that I want to put in here. So I just made a background and said, this is a header just for fun. Okay. So on this one, if I went to another page, let's go back to preview. Let's go to the opportunities page. See how my header came with me. Now the nav navigation menu already had it set up to come. So that's why it came across with it, but this header will persist on every page. So let's go back to the home page to start. So if I start on my experience site up here, if I clicked up here, the options I get are on the right in this, we can drag it around. It's called the compact header. So I can put an image. I didn't because I think the image might interfere with what they're looking at on the page, but I did color the background, my brand colors. I can put an overlay. If I put an image and I wanted, um, maybe I put an image of an ocean and I wanted a soft pink overlay. I can do that borders links. And this has to do with the links up in my menu. What happens? Um, I have some drop down menus because I am using a drop down menu, which is the hamburger menu. So that controls everything here, like the divider of the color. And with experience cloud, you can just move things on the page and mess around with them and see what happens. I have more information under my layout. I do not show my search menu, but if I check that, then that appears at the top. Same with any, any of the other ones, but mine's um, a public page. So I don't need like a user profile menu or anything. And I can adjust if I uncenter the logo, then I lose my hamburger menu. And I have done that on my site for, uh, for some times I go back and change it. But on this particular one, I want it centered because I want to use the slide out navigation without that. I can't use it. Okay. And then I can display it, move it around and you can mess with all of these and see how you want it to, to look. So if we go back to the one I was on right here, um, let's just say I don't want this top template. Okay. So I'm going to delete this. So what happens when we preview it? It just hides it. So you can use it or you don't have to use it. It doesn't really matter. Okay. And I'm going to just double check some settings over here. I am using the partner central. I have no theme and it looks like the default is set for every single page which is why this navigation menu is persisting. If I go to, I'm going to try a different one. Um, let's go here and let's change the theme. Let's just see what happens. I want to go with um, Cypress. So we're going to activate it. If you've never changed your theme and you're in the middle of something and you want to change it, I do have a video that helps you do that. So this one is very similar. So now I don't have the template header hot top. I just have this compact header, which is like the one I just did. So that's right here. And I get those same things. So it doesn't have that template header. But the other thing about this one is this menu, which right now let's, let's add to the menu. Let's, let's go back. If I click on my menu, it shows theme navigation menu. And then I can say, Oh, let's, let's edit that menu. And I want to add, um, we're just going to add Jen's website or something. And we're just going to add an external um, URL. However, I don't have that with me right now. So we'll just add it amazon.com. You can either open it in the same tag or publicly. All right. Just so I have something else on my, my menu. So let's look, we got home and Jen's website. Now I can click here. And it adds to the, the navigation. So as I go along, I can do that and I can decide how many items I want to show, but let's also click up here and let's change that layout. Let's look at the, okay. We, maybe we don't want search to show or notifications because this is a public, but I don't want to center the logo. I want mine to show up. There we go. So now it shows up here. But again, clicking on this is the navigation menu, but clicking just outside is the compact header. 
and then I can adjust everything that I want. Okay. So I can say if, if I have a link, I want it to be, we'll say bright pink or something like that. Right. And so what just happened is this line under here, because it indicates that that was a link that changed color. So if I wanted to make it darker, you can see it changed up there again. And okay. Now that'll also affect other things. Let's see if I go, I want to adjust the hover color and I want it to be dark blue when we hover over that link. So let's see what that looks like. See how that changes. I just made it light blue. So those are all the different things you can change. Just remember when you're in a section or an area, um, when you're hovering over it, it tells you where you are. So this says compact header. And if I moved over here and I thought, oh, I'm going to adjust the header and I click this, I'm not actually in the header. I'm in the navigation menu. Now, if I go to another site or another page, we're going to go to contact support. It's not the same anymore. It didn't persist. And this is where I was saying, if I go to my settings and I go to configure, I can see that my home page has one type of page where the rest of the pages have another. So that means if I create it on my home page, but I want it over here to match, then I've got to reset it up, not on every page, just on one of these other pages and it'll be the same. So if I go to layout and we take off search and we take off center logo, it goes back to that. I don't want my notifications. I don't want the user profile logo preview, but again, the colors don't match. So I can just go back to my home page and match the colors. So the, the way you check that is if you did something on the home page and you're not seeing it on other pages, go to settings on the left. And then I went to theme right here and configure. And you can see that the home page has a different, you know, it says one page in your site uses the home layout. That is generally the case. They all have um, the home page generally as a different one. And that way you can create a different menu. Okay. And let me go back to the, home page here. All right. And this is already set up because it's a certain theme. Let me go back to here. So this is where they were all the same. So it's going to carry over. So whatever I put here is going to carry over. But when I go over the navigation menu, see again, I can only do the navigation because this one's different. The menu, the header. So I, I kind of hover over here, this area. This area seems to be set. I can't change it. But if I hover here, it looks like we have a global search box and I get options. So uh, say I want them to be able to search these things, then I leave them there. I, maybe I want them to search another object. I can do that, right? But this is what this theme has. So there's really nothing I can do uh, to change this. This is definitely a site you would want people to be able to search. And instead of search, I could say placeholder text. I could type in anything or uh, type, type your search parameters, right? Oops. Okay. You click that. And then it says type your search parameters here. There's some things you can change in here and some, but this particular theme, I have to have a search bar to get around that. I could go to settings, go to my theme, go to manage, and let's change our theme. What do we have in our options? So one of my favorite ones to work with is Jepson. Let's just activate that. And again, I have a video on what to do if you want to change your theme. Okay. So now I can see whatever I had placed here looks a little different, but this is, let me X this out. I have the compact header. And on this one, if I don't want to allow them to search, well, then I go to my layout and I have unchecked show, show search. So if the current um, template you pick doesn't look the way you want, go ahead and try changing your themes. But that is how you configure the header. Uh, a lot of experience cloud is just messing around with things, clicking on things, looking at stuff, seeing what you can and can't do, um, and just changing things around to get them the way you like. Now, see how I just changed that whole background to burgundy? Then I can't see my text. So I want to go over here and figure out where my text color is, which I already know it's not over here because of experience cloud. 
I know that it's up here in my branding colors. So just keep in mind if you do that and you go to your branding colors right now, my text color is black and say, oh, I, I want to change it to white for this purpose. There we go. Did I get that? my text color that must not be it it might be my link color I'm gonna play around till I figure out which one it is it's not my link color which I already know that's separate anyway border color background so sometimes let's, let's change this back to black because if I change it to white or something then the rest of my text on the site won't show okay but that means I might sorry let's click over here be able to find the text color in this area. So link color, I know there are links. Could it be that? There you go. See how that changed? So it can get a little funny, like it's called a link. And I know it's a link because I've worked in enough to know that. See how my link cover over covers color is different? Just make sure you're adjusting those things. You have the ability to adjust your notification icon. I have a video for that or your hamburger menu icon. So let me know if you have any questions. You can always find me on LinkedIn.